Welcome to this official video tutorial of the Tigers on the Hunt game, a turn-based World War II tactical level war game simulation that covers battles on Eastern, Western and Mediterranean fronts. In this video tutorial we are going to focus on off-board artillery. The off-board artillery, or OBA for short, has to be assigned to a scenario in the scenario editor in order to be available during a scenario in the game. The rage support weapon as shown here, has to be assigned to a leader for the side of that OBA in order to work. AI, on the other hand, is treated differently. It works in an automatic way and doesn't need a radio support weapon. The player requests for off-board artillery support in either the fire segment or the defensive fire segment. The player first selects a radio support weapon attached to a good order leader and right-clicks on enemy units in line of sight. So let's try. We left click on the hex with the radio support weapon. We then left click on the radio in the unit control panel. And then we right click on the target in line of sight. Now, if this is the first time that the off board artillery is going to be used in the scenario, the player, assuming there are two off board artillery models in the scenario, gets to choose which off board artillery module the radio will be associated with in a pop up window. If there is only one radio, then the radio is automatically associated with the one of the artillery module. We choose by left clicking on one of those. Radio contact check is first initiated. If the radio contact fails, nothing happens and the radio can be used again in the next allowed fire segment. If the radio passes the contact check, a battery contact check is performed. If it fails, the player cannot use the radio again in the current fire segment. On top of that, if the battery contact fails twice in a scenario, then the off-board artillery support is permanently lost for the rest of the scenario. Consider this as the off-board artillery resource has been assigned to another area of the battlefield outside of the scenario. Let's check the action log window for this call for artillery support. We see that the radio was, was associated with the off-board artillery module of 150mm. But the radio contact was not so successful, so we will have to try to use this in the next fire segment. Let's try with the other module, which is located on, in the top section of the map. We left click on the hex with the radio support weapon. We left click on the radio in the unit control panel, and we right click on our target hex. Again, we check the action log window for the re result. The radio was associated with the 120mm battery. The contact was successful, but the access would not, not, was not successful. If, on the other hand, battery contact was successful, a hit arrow, drift, from the desired hex is determined, and the off board artillery crosshair is placed on the map at the target hex. In this case, it has drifted southward, you can see the crosshair down here. If the off-board artillery was called for in the player's fire segment, the off-board artillery will fire in the player's next defensive fire segment and vice versa. You can see that the attack was made on the target hex and the six adjacent hexes to the new target hex. You can also see that the number in the crosshair was changed from 2 to 1, which means that there will be a new attack in this area in the next fire segment of the player. This is all this time. We welcome you to visit our other tutorials on our YouTube channel. So until next time, it is goodbye from me.